a bit like kids having parents working in a circus. You sort of are part of it as you're born. Uh, my family has been working in this business for two generations. So as a child, my mother used to spray things on us. I mean, Au Sauvage was tested on my brother, and then we were always asked our opinion for things. So I suppose that sort of lives a very deep trace in a child's mind. And I grew up sort of considering that perfume was an important thing. And then later, I decided to turn that into my life because it was sort of effortless. Perfume to me is a very personal thing. And I thought it was just an aesthetic thing when I was a child. And then by the age of 14 or 15, I suppose, 15, I suppose I started to fall in love with girls. I really understood how perfume is part of someone and how perfume can make you even more attractive. You know, think of, you know, sleeping with, with someone that doesn't smell of anything. It would be like seeing life without colors. To understand this publishing idea, you have to go back almost 20 years. When I was working for major French brands and working with perfumers every day, and I realized then that perfumery was becoming very mundane, and perfume was more image than the content of the bottle. So I tried to sort of put things back in order and put perfume back at the center of our business. Perfumery, sounds strange, but it had sort of lost that major part. I called the best perfumers in the industry, proposed to them to work in a completely free fashion. I tried to treat them like artists. And our goal was to make perfumes that would be liquid works of art. And I realized that my job was very similar to the one of a publisher. So I named myself a perfume publisher, which was something which didn't exist. You're dealing with artists. Each nose is a different individual. They have a different writing, they have a different personality. So I simply adapt to who they are to create masterpieces. It's hard to create a masterpiece. We get influenced by nature, mostly, that gives you those natural finished products. And sometimes it's also a new raw material that we want to pair with something else to create a new color, like an abstract painter. I think that it's a privilege and it's, and it's certainly uh, very interesting to add these colors to other people's life uh, and to provide them with these enhancers for themselves. It's one part of the job which I do. Scent is something which is so important in my life. I mean, since I'm a child, I'm told that this smells good, this smells bad, this is sexy, this is not. Uh, so it's completely part of myself and it's, it's, it's essential to myself. It's, it's part of what I am.